All right, let's talk about how you can combine multiple rows into one cell or into one row in Excel. So I'm gonna show you two ways on how to do this, and then I'm gonna take it one step further on showing you how you can combine specific rows to other specific rows. That'll make more sense later. But, so right now we have just some random sports and we wanna combine these all into one row or into one cell. The first way I'll show you is to have Excel justify all these together. Now what you need to do is you need to make the column width as long as you need to in order for all of these to fit on one row. So obviously combining all these, I don't know exactly how long that's gonna be, but I'm guessing it'll be about this wide. So we'll go ahead and select all of those sports we wanna combine into one row. We'll go to the Home tab, go up to this button here, the Fill button, hit the drop down, and then select Justify. And that's gonna combine all of those into one cell. Now if we didn't make the column big enough, say we only made it that big and we justify, it's not gonna put them all on one row. As you can see, Excel decided that it couldn't fit pickleball and hockey onto the same row, so it created a second row. All right, so that's one way you can do it. Now, another way you can do it is to simply use the text join function or formula in Excel. And with this formula, the first thing it's gonna ask is a delimiter, which basically means how do you wanna separate all of these different cells when they're combined? So let's say that we would want them separated by a comma followed by a space. So what we would do is quote, comma, space, quote. So anything within those quotes is gonna be the delimiter or what separates all of those sports when they're combined. And we wanna ignore empty cells, we don't want blanks. And then our text, we're just gonna select all of these or the data that we're wanting to combine. And then we'll go ahead and hit enter. And then when we expand this column, we can see that all of those sports were added together with a comma and a space. So football, comma, space, soccer, and so on. All right, so those are the two simplest ways to combine multiple rows into one row. But let's take this one step further. And let's say that these sports are actually sports played by different people. And we can see that Jack plays football. We can see that Phil actually plays soccer, basketball, and baseball. So what we want to do is based on each unique person, we want to add their sports into one row. So for Phil, we just want Phil listed once, and we want it, that one cell to say that he plays soccer, basketball, and baseball, rather than having three separate rows for that. So the first thing we need to do is we need to find all the unique names or all the unique values we're trying to differentiate from. So what we can do is type in unique and select the column where those values are. And what that's gonna, it, and that's gonna give us all the unique values in that column. Basically, it will eliminate duplicates. So you can see that Phil is only listed one time instead of three times, Lindsay once instead of twice, and Doug once instead of twice. All right, so then we're gonna wanna use our text join function that we learned earlier. We're gonna wanna set the delimiter. We'll just do, again, we'll just want it separated by a comma and a space. And we want to ignore any empty cells and then we'll hit a comma, and this is where it changes a little bit. You're gonna to wanna to do an if formula or if statement. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is if, select the name, so in this case Jack, so we wanna know how many Jack, how many different sports Jack plays. So if Jack equals, and then we'll select the data range where his name might be found, and then comma, if that's true, we want to display all of these. And if that's false, we'll just say we want that to be blank, so we'll do quote, quote. And then we'll go ahead and hit enter. All right, so now that's only showing one sport, but as we can see, Jack only played one sport, so that makes sense. Now, before we drag this formula all the way down, we need to anchor all of these cells or these ranges. So we wanna do FNF4 for these sets here which basically just puts a dollar sign in front of this. 
and then we'll go ahead and hit enter. And then we can just drag that formula down. And then what we see is it's going to combine exactly how we wanted all of the different sports that Phil, Lindsay, Doug, Rachel, Jack all play. So we can see that Phil, as we talked about earlier, he plays three sports, soccer, basketball, baseball, and we can see that's all listed in one. So that way it kind of compiles the data a little bit more where you don't have a single row for each individual sport that they might play. So that's just taking how you can combine multiple rows into one row one step further within Excel. Thank you so much for watching, and before you go, please subscribe, and don't forget to hit that like button if you learned anything at all from this video. Thank you, and please have a great rest of your day. Catch you on the next video.